Hello, scrappers. Tonight, I'm gonna be scrapping this. This is an Emerson forehead VCR. This is a kind of a newer model. It weighs like very little. Um, they usually have a metal plate in the bottom, but this one's all plastic. Doesn't weigh much at all. Let's get kind of a pre-scrap weight. Almost four pounds. It doesn't really weigh much. Um, they kind of use, you know, less material, make it as cheap as they can. And if you notice, it's only got mono audio in it. It doesn't got the red, yellow, white. It's only got the white. So there's no screws on the bottom. It's got screws on the top. I've never seen that before. These ones are already broken. Now look how cheaply made this is. Uh, let me get some gloves on before I end up squirting blood everywhere. Decent looking piece of circuit board on the very bottom. Low grade china board. More of these larger screws. And another one here I can get to. Ah. Can't take it apart. Break it apart. That was easy. Um, I've taken these apart before. There is a little bit of copper in here. You can kind of see it through the window. I'm gonna call this whole thing copper bearing. Except for these, I'm gonna see if I can get these out. These are brass. Yeah, and that can stay right on there. Got some brass. And they wanna run away. We got two of those, and a piece of copper bearing. There is a little tiny bit of copper in here, but let's see if I can take a peek. Ah, oh, the whole thing's breaking off. Oh, this is a uh, crystal oscillator, a little tiny one. Be plucking that off. Definitely a crystal oscillator. And all them little bits of copper can stay on there. Not only really worth my time getting those little tiny things out. But crystal oscillators, they do add up. And they sell pretty well on eBay. I won't be taking these apart and scrapping them. I'll be selling them as crystal oscillators on eBay. Somebody will buy them and turn them into scrap cut the power cord low or as close to the board as I can and scrap our plug end oh these are in there good you can usually just do them by hand so now we got a little bit of brass and a little piece of uh, copper More brass. We got number two insulated here and here. And not seeing a ton of good stuff on the back of this. get these last couple screws out while I'm here. Maybe this board will come off. Oh, look at that. The board's going to come off one. Nope, one more screw here.
kind of boards off. And we have another crystal oscillator. And these are silver. Do we have a... No, thought that might be a relay. There's some copper in here. Grab hold of this thing and get copper out of this. Number two copper. It adds up. Um, it's a pain in the butt to get the copper out of this and it's kind of time consuming. So I'm gonna leave it in there. It'll make this board a little bit heavier. But these switches, there's a little tiny bit of silver in every one of these. So I'll be plucking those off. And are these brass? No, not brass. So those can stay on for extra weight. And that's about it for that, for that side. We'll get these silver switches off. These can usually grab them at the base and just give them a twist. Oh, I broke that one. See that little button in there? That's silver. And there's a, a process to getting these out that I won't be doing, but other people do. So I'll be selling these once I get enough of them. There, I got this one out. Nice little twist, and they usually come right off. You to see underneath this plate, there's two little pieces of silver in here. See if I can. See there's a little tiny silver button right there in the center. So I think maybe I have to find a, a better way to get these off. Maybe try a new method. Because breaking two out of 10 breaking two out of ten not too good of odds but I do like the grab and rip method the faster method it also helps getting as low as possible on them Addison's breaking two as long as I get the good part Get the part with a little silver button in it. Junk. We'll get this little silver button out. And that's all of those. We have some more copper bearing. Before we lose them, I'll put these in my little bucket, my little tub. They do add up. I'll get my crystal oscillator and with the rest of his buddies. They add up. I'll keep keep collecting them. And I'm seeing some copper there. And that's aluminum. We got some copper bearing motor. My scrap yard this piece of copper bearing is so small they don't call this electric motor they just call this copper bearing we got copper bearing some more number two insulated a 
I'm not seeing too much more. There's copper in here. And I see copper right there. Actually, I'm going to leave all this on there. This metal here will make it a little bit heavier, get a little bit more copper bearing for that. So that's copper bearing. Now I have to make the judgment call. Actually, I want this aluminum. We're going to get this aluminum separated. I was thinking about just throwing the whole thing in the copper bearing bucket, the whole hunk of aluminum. There's more copper bearing. Now you can nip these ends off. Here, I'll show you. If you're really hard up for scrap, you can nip these ends off. And you can pull this copper off. Nami. And I'm seeing a nice little yummy chunk of brass right there. More ten. Now how does this come out? Can I use this as like a puller yes I can get underneath it and lift it up got some more brass and how does this head separate we got screws in the back and that's it for this this whole thing here actually I'm gonna get that off copper bearing this is the looks like a magnetic recording head I'm guessing copper bearing we'll see if that's a magnet well no it'd be an electromagnet that can go in the copper bearing bucket this is all 10 there's nothing good left in here, nothing but tin and plastic. Oh, those are steel. That's steel. So you drive that center out. Ouch! It bited me. Got copper winding in here. Still not used to having a vice. Used to doing everything the dumb way without a vice. I'm going to call this copper bearing, as well as this friend over here. Could I use this as a puller? That worked. Oh, that broke loose. A little piece of ferrite, and some number two copper. Those look like little Toraxes. See if I can clean this piece of aluminum up better. I have to 
Maybe that'll fit. Actually, I don't know what to do. Look at that. Some more tin. A nice little hunk of aluminum. We gotta get these bearings out. That one looks like it's just about falling out. Yeah. That one's out. And will I get lucky with the other one the same way? Not so lucky, but I bet I can tap it out this way now that I got clearance. Boink, there she goes onto the floor. I got these two little brass toraxes out. If I have the proper size. Yes, I do. Oh, look at that. They weren't even tight. Oh, the whole plate's brass. Yeah, some more yummy brass. Is this one just finger tight too? Look at that. Didn't even need my drill. The whole back plate was brass. I got a nice little hunk of aluminum. And I think we're just about done. Gather up my screws. And we got a little over two and three quarter pounds. Let's see how we did. For aluminum, quarter of a pound of aluminum. Not too bad. For 10, pound and a half all right in the old tin bucket this is a larger piece I'll probably throw this in my trailer and copper bearing almost a full pound of copper bearing and how about number two insulated About a, almost a quarter pound of uh, number two insulated. Number two insulated, copper bearing. We'll go to ounces. We'll see how much brass we had. Half an ounce of brass. Not too bad. And I know this little tiny bit of copper is not gonna add up. Not gonna register on the scale. Lose any of this. Work hard for it. So we got some brass for the brass bucket. Some number two copper for the number two copper bucket. It adds up. People think I'm nuts. So uh, just remember, guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.